one, huh? This a pip? Look at this. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Almost got mugged the other day wearing this out in public. Some stumble bum comes up to me and says, You're not Mexican. What the hell are you doing wearing that? I said, <laughs> It's a gift. Well, you're not Mexican. You shouldn't be wearing stuff like this. <laughs> Where do these people come from? I don't know, it's pretty sad. Well, just like you said, here's... <laughs> Folks, this is the kind of newspaper we get, right? What does that say on there? <laughs> <laughs> A safer <What>? elk crossing. <laughs> Holy crap, we're killing people by then. <laughs> and they're just shooting each other, but oh, only 12 elk got killed last year going across the street. Bleep, 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 <laughs> there's an elk crossing. Yeah, I'm gonna sit there and watch for the elk to come. <laughs> well, they'll find out. They'll know that <laughs> they're, they've got the right of way. <laughs> what do they have? Never been hit what, what in they a car green, hit by a deer. Right on this side of the highway. You know you don't want that. Well, and an elk is twice as big as a deer, so you don't want to get hit by an elk in your, in your car. You can, you're looking at a more satisfied woman here. We've been to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm full of chicken. I'm about to eat some more. I know. <laughs> See, I drink on camera and she eats on camera. Except for next, we're gonna go really take her. I just found that something horrible about you. What? You 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 don't eat the skin. That's the best part. I mean, that's the part that you go to you know do stuff like that because it's coated with all kinds of nineteen twenty herbs or something like that, and it, it's not injected. It's on the outside. Anyway, mm, I don't make this. I was trying to get me to eat the skin on chicken. It's no, not I'm, enough that you feed me ice cream and you take me to. My daughter won't even take me to Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. You know, she takes me to uh, Middle Eastern cuisine where you eat yogurt and. Uh, your daughter doesn't like. <laughs> you. Your daughter eyes. obviously does not <laughs> like you that much. Right? <laughs> Him. Oh no, I love I oh. love to eat healthy. Oh, I'm sure you do, right? Yeah. Right. I do. I mean, I know I'm not going to eat healthy with you, but you don't eat healthy anything or drink or eat healthy. It's a crummy beer, right? Yeah. I mean, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason I'm doing this is um, it was sort of a uh, comment about. Uh, one of our last uh, videos, you know, that we were whacked out, and of course, I can't doubt that, but made some well, kind I was of, out, oh. Huh? Can, can, well, honey, you don't even need to drink or smoke or anything like that. To be whacked we, out. Oh, yeah, right, see, that's the whole point. So I thought I'd just say, you know, well, if you don't like it, don't watch it, and if you do like it, it's fine too, because I didn't think there was any bad thing about it. It was just a comment. You know, and well, I think that in this day and age when uh, we look in the news, all we see are skinny people, less skinny, and uh, tips about diet. Uh, we, You get to see the real people here. You get to see the alcoholic in the final stages, and you get to see fact. Why do you keep pushing? <laughs> Folks, if and I you may. get to see us. Uh, we're probably the only couple in on um, TV that has not been remade. Now, now wait a minute. <laughs> it's not the woman's not a size here, even if she's eighty. She's got to be a size one at least, or uh, maybe four. But this is where you get the real thing. The real uh, American people with all their faults and failings. I mean, we've obviously failed. Uh, I failed to get Why do you keep bringing me down <laughs> to this failing? 
What is well, you keep I failed me too. Failing thing. I've tried to get failed. successful I still, all my life. What did I just get today? A little thing from my ex-wife. Going, <laughs> I want to be your friend. Well, that, that's great. I put in my one of my stepkids, uh, Alex. I want to be your friend. She has no <coughs> friends, folks, other than me and I. I hate to disillusion you, but. Friendship for friends. <laughs> Facebook friends do not mean, uh, you know, anybody can be your friend. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, not only I wouldn't I, get too excited by it. <laughs> I'm too excited, too excited about it. Are you kidding me? I just like, want everybody know, to know. He doesn't know what real friendship is. No alcoholic does. Oh, no. Okay. And nor no foodaholic no, really knows because we here know comes, all know what comes first. Right? Don't ever get between a foodaholic and her food. Yeah, but it's in the refrigerator. So just <laughs> okay. Relax a little. While. You'll get it in a little while. I said 10, 15 minutes. We'll put this on mine. And uh, <laughs> what else are you? You know the funny thing about it is, the funny thing about it is, is that. I like this woman, and I don't know why. That's the problem. I just the thing is, is, is I that. like this alcoholic. You're not supposed to, you know. Alcoholics are are uh, supposed to be really disgusting people that you can't. <laughs> don't no, help what? me, will you? It's always but, he's but always I, trying I, to help I, me. I don't. But I oh, like by the way, don't look in the like camera. Don't look in the camera because. <laughs> You get real oh, yeah, I know. Oh my God! Look at the cleavage on that one. Yeah. Yes, mm. I like this man. Oh, <laughs> even though he's destroying his life, he is worthless. But <laughs> <laughs> will you stop trying to help me? <laughs> but he's likable, you know. And this is the the secret mm. that people don't tell about alcoholics. That you know, I've known some. This is the most lovable alcoholics. People just dying to help them. You know, they just line up. Oh, oh I'll help you. I'll help you. I mean, I'd have to Nobody's beat them off with the stick. Nobody's ever helped me, okay? I, I'd have to beat the women off with the stick. That's why I come in here and guard him, because they want to help him so bad. <laughs> They'd be knocking on his I did not. Can I help you? Well, usually they come and say, can you give me money or something like that? <laughs> well, of course. Of course. I mean... He's the, he's the most frugal and you, you know, you've heard that alcoholics are all broke. They can't handle their money. Wrong, wrong. This man, he's never broke. <laughs> it's more, how he managed to keep, I have no keep idea. money on hand and I have no be idea. as, you know, he's got credit cards up to the... So there goes that myth that alcoholics are completely Completely. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Without a, merit. No, without wait a any kind of. What, what is this myth about? It? <laughs> See, I have never been married to or wanted to be married to an alcoholic female. Most of them drank, most oh. of them smoked. And, you know, but they wouldn't. Uh, um, what I want to know is what is this myth there? You know, I mean. Just because the guys that you used to know, and uh, of course they all, <laughs> they all parked their horse out in front of your. Uh... Well, yes, I mean, you know if you smoke, there's a good chance you'll die smoking. No, no way. See, drinking, the, but he doesn't see, smoke. See, one of the things. That's another about, thing about. Now wait a minute. He does wait, not wait smoke. See, uh, there's, there's, there's just. <laughs> Smoking tobacco <laughs> and smoking is like the he guy, hates smoking. guy said, oh, I gave up smoking cigarettes, but I didn't give up smoking, you know. <laughs> well, I don't smoke either one of them. And the reason is, it's no. my lungs can't handle it. And besides that, if I did, I probably wouldn't be here. But the funny part I like about you is <laughs> you're able to take derogatory comments <laughs> from somebody that's just chewing your butt off, you know, going, well, hang in there, big guy, you know, you're an alcoholic, man. and she's the world's worst woman I've ever heard. I kind of like that. Now. 
I had to be back. I, I have to rebuttal. You know, you're not the world's worst. Okay? Oh. You're, you're uh, not, not the world's very worst, but. Well, you're, you're, <laughs> you have given me more <laughs> problems am I drinking than any other woman in my life? Because every other woman. It's like, what drink that old man when. Yeah, even some of them spoke, you know. Well, I, you know, sometimes I think women just go too far. I mean, they get a drink, a, a drinker, uh, and uh, you would think that they were the, the epitome of virtue. And I, I think there's, there's got to be something wrong with a woman that hangs out with an alcoholic. <laughs> So I tried to find my phone. Yeah, right. It was hard, but I did. I thought <laughs> I gotta have something. Did you hear what you just said? There's gotta be something wrong with a woman <laughs> that hangs out with a guy like me, right? Well, right, listen, right. I mean, the, you know, it, you're, there's you're, gotta be something that you know she's what? doing wrong. Thirty days from now, and you're gonna be <laughs> the big eight zero man, octogenarian eight zero. I'm still in my seventies. <laughs> Don't push it, you know. You old broads, I like you, but you're just not nice. You know? <laughs> 80 years, can you believe this? 80 years old? Most people like this should be taken out and, uh, you know, just severely whipped for a while. <laughs> Most people think that when you're 80, you've lost your sense of humor. You're just... Well, most people have lost their sense of humor when they're 80. But anyway, um, I have I have searched. I have really tried to find what would make a, what is wrong with a woman that would hang out with. Well, the wonderful, the wonderful thing I like about you the most is that, for some reason, when you were young, you decided you're going to be the bisexual police. Okay, and you've never given it up for eighty years. You know, holy crap. Yeah, yeah. My family hate me for this because I'm always saying, mm, I know she's bisexual or he's bisexual. That's right. And, say, and then, you know, I mean, like both of us, you I'm, know. My I'm family bisexual, has a different dad than I do. She doesn't and a, know. And different I... boyfriends. You know, I say, are you sure? I think he's bisexual. And, uh, you know, they don't have any bisexual boyfriends. They don't have a bisexual dad. Uh, you know, they don't know anything about that kind of thing. So, therefore, they don't have it. I didn't know either. I did not know. But, uh, so it does lead to you having altogether different parents than your family because they don't believe a word of what you come up with it's nothing but suspicion and exaggeration rumors and, and uh rumors <laughs> sick 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 <laughs> oh i know i know so i told him when i first met him i said oh you don't want to know me i'm the bisexual police and he's going what you're what <laughs> And, you know, and I could have made a big study of him, but unfortunately, I can guarantee to you he is not a bisexual. That's true. So, but he's interested in... That's true. Uh, Women. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in the second thing. <clears throat> I think we've all established <laughs> the fact that I drink a lot. So my liver is probably either so enlarged or so small that nobody, uh, don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares. But I think, you know, at my age, I think if you, when I think back about your family and your father and the cowboys, I mean, these cowboys came into town to get whacked out of their gourd. You know, give me a bottle of booze and they would drink it. I just remember when we saw it in the paper the other day. This poor kid, what is he, 17, 18 years old? He's having a party? We read it in the paper. Well, hell, if you're going to drink a whole bottle of booze within an hour, yeah, you're going to get alcoholic poisoning. Mm -hmm. They kill him. I've seen people do that. Stupid. Now, cyanide, eh, a little bit of 
you're you're pretty much out of there. But the problem that I perceive it to be is that you are not as uh, well. Maybe you are as what you know. Come to think about it, you do bitch on me a lot. You know. <laughs> I do it with a well, smile. A yes, smile. <laughs> five years of recordings here, and every time you can do an awful lot of insulting, I found oh out, and God. bitching if you do I it with a smile <laughs> <laughs> and a laugh. You know, it doesn't. <laughs> and you know how much? And you know how much that's worked over the years, <laughs> folks. It hasn't worked. Out that much. She actually thinks there's coffee in this cup, and there's not. Okay. <laughs> See, this is this woman likes stress. She always wants to change things because they ain't the way they're supposed to be in her world. Well, unfortunately, that ain't the way the real world works. Take a look at television. Take a look at television. Holy crap! Hmm. She has helped me through a lot of things. She has helped me uh, pay for this camera, and she's helped me uh, help me here. Okay. That's, <laughs> well, you, that's you paid, much he paid it. for the repair it, of the camera. That's, that's pretty much it right now. I can. That's the best <laughs> thing I can come up with. Oh, he's helped me with my wardrobe. Yeah, you think I'd have bought a hat like this in public? Nah, I wouldn't have done it, but. But, you know, the thing I like about you the most is uh, you like to eat on camera, right? And I drink on camera. <laughs> and after we're done with this, we're going to glomp down on a uh, uh, bucket of whatever. And I think there's no reason. Uh, if you can afford... Seriously, if you can afford... Two or three hundred dollars, get one of these little cameras, you know? This one is a hell of a lot more expensive than that. And I was just thinking back um, when I first got my first uh, VCR back in the 80s, 700 bucks. You can get a VCR now for like dollar twenty nine, you know, 100 bucks. 700 bucks. Now you can get get one of these cameras for like uh, less than three hundred, two two hundred nine. What's the big deal? So why see, don't people uh, do it all yeah, the time? People put it should on. do it. Uh, right. If, if the I more could, realistic uh, if I videos had, we have, if I'd have had this one I was young, I'd have had all everybody on. I got an eight hundred dollar Olympus camera, except it's a camera. Okay, it only uh, takes a one video. picture. That's right. Didn't have them then. And he's falling in love with video. He loves making video, and I, I believe in it because uh, there's not enough videos made. As a result, what do you do? You, you get on TV and you have to look at stuff that... It's unrealistic. They're paying these people millions of dollars to get skinny and uh, look beautiful. And uh, if they didn't pay millions of dollars, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't be able to do it. But they're not paying us anything, so therefore that's why we haven't done it, right? Well, I They're haven't. not paying him anything, and that's I'm right. not paying me. Is anybody wants so to pay me money people, to get naked I, on camera, I, would, I, would, I will uh, do it, all right? I'll get naked I on can, camera. Not with me, you won't. But I recommend I that... I didn't uh, say that, did I? More people... I said I'd get naked. More people would actually... Look, now the other night he had me watching yeah. the White Family. Now that was real. It was real. Those people were real. I mean, they were, you know, they were doing stuff that they'd probably been doing for years, you know, smoking dope and... Now and, wait a uh, minute. Now wait. <laughs> selling dope wait, and uh, wait committing a... crimes. And, <laughs> and they had him on camera. Now that was a great service. It was a year and a half. So if you saw... If you saw that documentary, this is from West Virginia people. Yeah, and there should be more families should be documented. 
we could we should be able to you know it would be wonderful if we could get documentation on all of the color I don't smoke though folks families I don't even smoke cigarettes I'm not going to pursue this anymore <laughs> because these people are so out to lunch yeah but it's real it's real and if people would get cameras and go into their homes and show the world, put them up on YouTube or well, on I, Facebook I, I put the and every place, over here, put the where so over people there, could look right there. into their homes and see what they were doing, it would be illuminating. It would just be like blogging. It's a video blog of what you really look like. I think a video blog is even more revealing because it reveals you. Uh, I don't blog. <clears throat> oh, well, you you do. You video blog. There's a thing called video blog, and that's I what he's doing. I did not know that. Of course, video of blog. course. Yes, yes. your video blogging. You every few days he wants to tell you what he's thinking, da, 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 and you're going to learn a lot about an alcoholic. Then you uh, and da, 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 da. you're going to be this. realistic about it. You're going to see a likable alcoholic, because he is. <laughs> he's, he's not as bad as you might think. Don't make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> <He, laughs> there's no sense Don't thinking make me an alcoholic on you again. is worse you. than sit, 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 worse. Sit. And the same way with a fat woman. You know, on TV, you oh, think geez. fat was the absolute worst thing that you could be. Well, absolutely. But what they've got to do is show a fat woman who's pretty sexy and uh, charming, and she's got other appeal. <laughs> <laughs> she She's 80, but she doesn't look anywhere near 80. Hey, she's still, still got a wonderful sense of humor. Oh, it's true. And, and, and it's uh, true. just yeah, because, well, woman has a great sense somebody of on TV is this skinny. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. This is my real color. And most so of the women you mine. see on TV, they've colored it's their hair. Too, right? Not a damn, not one of them is on there in their color. And look, here it is. 80 years old. That's fascinating. I think that's. <laughs> and this is his real hair, and this is his real beard. <laughs> That's as far and this as, is his real blue that, eyes. That's as far as we go from the folks. From here, neck on down, you're going to have to pay extra so money see, for the nudies. So. You'd, uh, that's why fat women have such a hard time losing weight. Because, uh, you know, you find, you'll, you'll find out the whole story. What? The whole story. Uh, you know. And you'll find out they're not bad at all. They're just, you know, they're not bad people. In fact, uh, they might have beefy arms, thunder thighs, but <laughs> he knows, he knows he better not get my thunder thighs. And uh, uh, can't get him on camera uh, because she's... I've told him, I said, I watch those thunder thighs, thighs. You can't watch get him on camera. And beefy arms. Who the he, hell cares? He loves you know, now there's a beefy arm if you've ever seen Well, one. from now on. A beefy yeah. arm. You're going to you're gonna have to go We on haven't seen a beefy arm on TV. All we've seen is these little sticks that these women have. Their little stick arms, their little stick bodies. That's not real. That's not America. That is not America. This is America right here. Mm -hmm. Beefy arms and all. And this is America. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Pop Billy. That's America. The real America. So we're bringing you the real America. And that's all for today because I'm getting hungry. I want to go charm some country fried chicken. Beat <laughs> my face. So. <laughs> See, I tell you, that's the way this woman works. She is. I, uh, love her. I love her, but I don't understand. Did you her ever right. hear. Those thinny, skinny, little stick women on TV admit to eating Kentucky Fried Chicken and enjoying it? No, sir. Well, I don't know. I still enjoy my Kentucky Fried Chicken even though I shouldn't eat, you know, according to them, I should be eating 
Salad, salad. The thing I learned about you <laughs> is that you don't eat the skin, and that's the best part. So and now eat. he wants me to eat the skin. No, I want to eat the skin. <laughs> I don't give a crap. What oh, he wants me to that. eat the skin. Well, I'm going to turn this off. You don't mind, because I'm not even saying another word. If you've got one last word to say, buddy, you better say it. I'm eating the Kentucky Fried Skin, okay? <laughs> and so am I. Yeah, all right. Bye.